everybody! Welcome to a Craftsmas Cricut tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this really cute Santa's Magic Key ornament. It's really fun to do and really cheap. I got this ornament. It is a flat disc ornament from Hobby Lobby. We are just using some black vinyl. I have these keys from Amazon. I will post the link below. You get a bunch of keys. I think like 30 different keys, all different sizes and stuff for $10. And then you just need some invisible thread. Now I will show you right now, this is not done with invisible thread. This is just done with regular thread and I did run into a problem where the regular thread kept sliding. The invisible thread does not slide. So I did tape it, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do for a video. So before we get started, just make sure you subscribe to my channel because I put out new videos all the time and it being Craftsmas, we're gonna have a bunch of new crafts coming out, one every day. Make sure you hit the bell icon, that'll let you know when I post a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how to insert the key. I'm going to apply the vinyl. This one's really easy, so I did not do this on video. Um, this, Since it's a flat ornament, very simple to do. And then I'll show you how to get these beads in without making a giant mess. So the first thing we have to do is take the top off of our ornament. And we're just going to pop that off. Now be careful with these because they are pretty bendy. Um, they're not real thick uh, metal. And then I'm just using some cream colored string. I couldn't find my invisible, but there's an invisible thread that you can purchase that it looks a little bit nicer, but this will do just to show you guys how to make this. So now all we're going to do is just tie a little knot right here at the top. Now these are the keys that I got from Amazon. Again, the link is below. You got, I got this huge bag full for like 10 bucks. And I can always use them for other projects, so that's really the great thing about these. So I usually put two or three knots in the top, because we're going to cut the tail off pretty short. So we're going to cut this tail off really nice and short. And again, with the invisible thread, it won't be as um, noticeable. But also, I wanted you guys to be able to see this when we actually did this. So then, you take the top of your ornament, and I'm just going to pop the little bracket piece that holds it together out and this one only has a it doesn't have like a center piece in it it just has those so you're going to run your string up if I could pick it up we'd be doing great so you're going to run I thought I had it and I didn't um you're going to take your string and just like you thread it through your key you're going to thread it through the top of your ornament And then what I do is I take this piece, so your little roundy piece, and I will tie the knot to the round piece. But I won't do that right now because I need to put it in the ornament in order to do that so I know how tall to make it. So I'll loop it through pretty, pretty well through um, just so it holds it. And then I take my little bracket piece and I stick it back in to the top. Again, I do this because you can't tie it without putting it into the ornament so that you know how far down you need it to hang. And I like to do this before I put anything else on the ornament. It just makes it a little easier to see it instead of trying to see it through, um, you know, like the words and stuff. This just gives you kind of a better look at what you're looking for. And plus, we're going to add some um, little foam beads to this, so that will make a difference too. So then, once I've done that, I will loop it through the little ring. And again, you won't see this with invisible thread. It'll be really hard to see if you use invisible thread. But again, if I did that, you guys couldn't see what I was doing, and that would just be hard. So I make a little knot, and I don't fully knot it yet, because again, we gotta loose, or we got to tighten it up for where we want. Because obviously, you see, the key is way too low. So what I do is I pull it up. And then I just tighten the knot just a little bit as I go. And then I pull them up and pull them up. And that's probably about where we want them to hang. We want a little space at the bottom for it. So then I just pull it tight. But you want to keep your hand on it. And you also want to be careful because you can snap this string pretty easily. So, whoops. And you can also over pull. If you over pull it, don't, don't worry. You can just take it back out and just pull it back down. But you do just want to make sure that you're careful with the string because you can... Uh, snap it pretty easily. So there we go. Well, that's good. So now we just got to put it back in 
and I'm going to tie another knot or two around the top part. Now that we've got the key about where we want it hung. And sometimes what I'll do, especially with the invisible stuff, is I'll actually wrap it around this part so that it holds it more steady. And then I will tie a knot or two around this. So I've looped it kind of around the ring. And then I'm going to tie a couple of knots. Again, it just holds it more steady. And again, with the invisible, you won't see it. So don't worry like about you know the fact that we can see the string in this one. It's not a big deal. And I'm going to just turn it a little bit here. This is not the easiest thing to do. And you can actually, if you wanted to, treat this just like you would a thread and needle. You could put a needle in it if it's easier for you to tie the knots. I just don't usually do that, and that knot did not tie. So let me go back and fix that so that we actually get a knot out of it. Again, not super easy to do, and I'm trying to do this further away from my face than I normally would, so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh my goodness, yeah, I'm having a heck of a time getting this knot tied, just because I can't see what I'm doing. So, I'm going to tie this off camera, you guys know how to tie a knot, and then we can get the words on it and the uh, little bowls in the bottom. I'm ready to put the little beads in. I did the words already. Uh, I completely killed an A. I lost an apostrophe. I would not use this font ever on these ornaments again, but I'd already cut it and I committed, so I'll just recut the A and it's fine. It doesn't need an apostrophe. Um, this is Alex's handwriting, so just for future reference, it's really hard to weed in these really small ones. So we're going to go ahead and pull our key and our top out, and we're going to use these little tiny beads. I got these at the Dollar Tree, and you get like a ton. Um, this won't take very many, so I'm just going to open just the corner and hopefully not get beads all over my house. I have enough glitter everywhere from every other craft I've done. Um, so I'm just going to try to rip this corner, Ugh, at least relatively neatly. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to use, hopefully this will hold it. Uh, nope. All right. Perhaps the tape dispenser will work. Sometimes, guys, you just got to be a little creative. There we go. Tape dispenser works. So just find something to hold it up because it's going to work a little bit easier if you have like a way to hold it. And I'm just going to rip off some of this cardboard so I can actually see what I'm doing. I do plan to put this into a Ziploc bag when I am done and I need to find some scissors to cut the edge of this. We're just going to put these beads in, just a few, just to fill kind of the bottom up because I just want it to look um, just a little more finished rather than just a key floating there. But um, you don't want to put a ton in, so just kind of watch while you pour that you're not putting like a boatload in. See how that looks. Uh, and see, and I got beads everywhere. I think it needs a little bit more, not a ton. But again, keep in mind you can always raise up the key if you need to, so you can always keep that in mind too. Let me knock that out so I can shake these around a little bit. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, that's plenty. So let me set that back down there. Let me tuck these somewhere they're not going to tip over. Because, oh, do not want that mess. And then we're going to just take and put our key back in. And again, I would not recommend using the font that I used. Please, God, don't. It was awful. Now, you can see I do need to raise up the key. No big deal. We can still do that. We just need to pull the string back out because the string ends up falling like as you're taking this out it's kind of a pain but you just kind of pull your string back up sometimes you can just take it off of this and it will help and you just rewrap it and then you just squeeze this back together Tuck it back in. Push this back down in here. Of course, my key keeps wanting to fall. Okay. I'm Now, when I did this with the invisible string, it worked fine. I think it's just the thread. It keeps sliding. This is not the best thread. It's not my favorite. So all else fails, I'll put a piece of tape on it because it's making me mad. But 
when you use the invisible string it will hold better and it will keep your key in place this is really super slippery for some reason so every time I go to put it back in it just wants to come back out so I'm just for viewing purposes I'm just gonna tape it down so you guys can see it um, but yeah when I do this with the invisible thread it holds a lot better and the key doesn't end up like stuck in the lid and it actually holds it where it's supposed to be so if you're gonna do this do this with invisible thread not with actual thread because it's just not holding very well and like I said, I'm just doing this so it'll hold so you guys can see what this looks like when we're done. And again, I don't think it held because it's going to be too far down. <sighs> Y'all. Sometimes these projects just... Mm, they're very frustrating. Especially when I'm not using the correct product because I really wanted you guys to be able to see the thread and not try to have to, like, not understand how this thread goes on. But you can't see the invisible thread in like video so I didn't want to use it because <laughs> I really wanted you guys to see and but every time I squeeze this and then unsqueeze it which is where the problem's lying is that when you unsqueeze it you see it drops the string back down but you get the general idea guys I I'll, will fix this at some point but until I do this is generally what it will look like and all else fails we can always just do this and we can cut it off <laughs> If it just makes me mad, we're just going to cut him off and we'll put it back on another day. I'm telling you guys, sometimes these ones just frustrate you. But, general idea, and you could actually, if you really couldn't get it to sit right, you can always use a little bit of glue and just glue it. And maybe that's how we'll do it. Maybe we'll just use a little bit of tape so he'll stay in the right place so you guys can see it. Like I said... I'm going to come back and do this with the correct thread so that it actually looks right. But, faux now to get you guys a good look at how it's supposed to look. There we go. Look at that. See? And then the top. There we go. That's Now we're holding. So yeah, you just sometimes have to play with it. But honestly, the, the invisible thread works a lot better than regular thread. It will hold better um, on there. So, like I said, you, know, you just got to play with it. But this is your ornament. Again, use a thicker font. This was awful. Um, these are, again, just beads from the Dollar Tree. Super easy to do. Really a cute craft, especially for the kids that don't have a chimney. I grew up without one. So I always wondered how Santa got in our house, and my mom used to tell us the magic key story. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Hit that bell icon because that'll let you know when I post a new video. If you're looking for any tutorials, please let me know that in the comments below as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Craftsmas video. And there will be more to come. Have a great day and happy crafting.